Okay, so there was some total nerdy bag, loser-headed fool wagons that said my last video was, you know, not good enough. It was confusing and they couldn't do it. So here, for all of you who just want to weld efficiently, me and Jade have actually figured out how to do it better by placing presses down like a tank's hatch because we figured out that a tank's hatch when opened actually doesn't have collision with parts like walls and trusses and all other fancy stuff which means you can do some pretty wacky stuff with that like making complete skeletons for your tank to give it more structural stability so it won't just slip off like when you flip or something that is really helpful when your armor is so heavy you know so here we go Okay, first things first, you want to press P to open your hatch, which will then enable you to place a truss. You want to place a truss down your hatch, usually using one of the supports that, you know, are already on top of your tank, if you did the weld like normal from last video. So, after that, you want to make sure that the truss is not touching your player, because if it is, that'll make it glitch out and the tank will be spazzy so you just want to make sure like you place it diagonally or something and that the truss isn't touching any other parts or it isn't too far back on the hatch so it won't glitch out when you try to shoot all the other things so yeah after that you literally just want to place usually a wall or if your tank is big enough like another truss on that so that you can get you know more of like a grip in the middle of your tank so even when you flip it'll just not like the armor won't come off it'll basically make an anchor inside your tank that makes the armor unable to slip off no matter how badly you made it so yeah that's pretty much it